Howdy, goopy goobers. It's that time again. It's time for more Oblivion. So, last time, last time, uh, we did some things. <clears throat> We did quite a few things, in fact. Neat. I'm gonna return to my home real quick and uh, store away some potions. Also, I have discovered the magic that is skooma. You might ask yourself, well, why? I'm gonna ask. I'm gonna wait for Matt to basically describe it. But all I have figured out is that it is essentially meth. And just like every and just like every addict, he doesn't know when to stop taking it. Yes. But we need to make some room. Center, it has 308, just loose, just some loose 308s in the corner. <laughs> well, ah, the, nice to know that the wellness center has a couple 308s in the corner just for when the days are getting darker. It is Washington, after all. For context, folks, Wolf's doing um, final draft. I am going to attempt something possibly stupid. Would you believe me if I told you we're about to do some really crazy things? Once this baby hits 80, 99 miles per, 88 miles per hour, you're gonna see some serious shit. You're gonna shit. Once this baby hits 99 miles per hour, you're gonna shit. Now I wonder if this is permanent or if it's minor. What, the skooma? No. This potion, the uh, strong potion of insight, restores 20 intelligence. If it's if it's a restore, then yes, it should. If that's a permanent, that's a permanent um, restoration. Permanent restoration. Yeah. Big brain am winning again. I figure we might continue more of the Dark Brother. No real increase to my when I, played, when I first played this game, the backstreet rate cap was like 22 or something. You know where we're at now? So, 
Okay, wait a second. Hello? Can I do dirty deeds for dirt cheap? No. Nice work, Bone Daddy. Yeah, so I'm pulling all the rules of rain. But uh, I need to upgrade my spawn machine. Back from me. It just so happens I have another contract available. One that I just requires an exploit in his infield contract. There's weapons in this game that are that are actually very modern, which means that you'll use them to get the like it's faster rate, and then it'll take 30 to get the same thing that you What? Prisoner recently escaped from the prison using a set of secret tunnels connected to the Imperial City's sewer system. It's a perfect way inside. Just outside the Imperial prison is a grating that leads to the sewer. It has recently been tightly locked, but I will provide a clue. It should be easy enough to locate Dreth in his small cell. Besides, I think you know the way, hmm? <laughs> Leyland Dreth has been in prison for many years. His tongue is sharp, but his body is limp and frail. He will prove an easy pleasure to kill. You will receive a bonus if you fulfill the contract without killing any of the prison guards. Now go. And may the night mother go with you. Sweet. <laughs> so let me get this straight. The new hire, the new recruit. She's an assassin like the rest of us, right? Yes. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. But she doesn't use any weapons. Correct? Yes. How does she kill uh -huh. people? With her bare fists. How is she stealthy? You can kill people and be stealthy with your bare fists. Oh boy, back into the sewers we go. Ooh, much crab. Water. What is Yeah. 
Yeah. You've done this before. This takes me back. How did you forget? Talking to me there, good sir. No, I'm talking to myself. Look crap. What am I doing wrong exactly? This boy is not correct. Ah, <coughs> oh, dang it. She crawled through a river of shit. Does before? You did. The password is plainly written out for you. Why are you so bad? Hello there. Well, <laughs> the fuck's going on here? in the oven. Pizza. Wondrous. I'll have to get up in uh, 12 minutes to go check on it. Alrighty then. Damn it. If he thinks MR-12 is impressive, how does fucking MR-25 sound? Oh, 
Oi. What are you doing? I am trying to be stealthy. In a full suit of armor, when you have a bunch of potions... The guards of or I'm guessing the case of you can't kill any of the guards. No, I cannot. Well, it's not really the case of being is, stealthy. He's taken, he's, just... he's taken one of the most... He's taken one of the most, like, the entire point of, like, like someone who's... Like, uses guile, sneakiness, and finesse in order to get to a target, and completely throws it out the window with being a chunk chunk fuck who's just like... <laughs> Ooh, I'm a chunk chunk fuck with... I'm a chunk chunk fuck of... with invisibility potions. His, his, his idea of stealth, stealth. is walking through, is just... Yeah, his idea of stealth is jumping through the fucking his dark tome in order to get to him. Yeah, I'll get out of here eventually. There's three deer remaining. Just walk up. Let me in. No, you don't. Oh, is that the dude who shit talked to you at the start of the yes. game? Yes. Vengeance. Come on, friend. What? You still no. When I get out of here, you're dead. You hear me? Dead. Yes. Now we leave. It, it took two punches. Me my freaking uh, <coughs> D &D characters. They were playing a, a, a session. We were doing a playthrough of Oblivion in D and D, and they did the section very differently. One of them ran upstairs to go get the stuff, and when they ran back down, I asked, "How quickly are you running?" He's like, "I'm going as fast as I can." Like, what do you mean by that? As like, fast as I can. Like full tabaxi speed. Full tabaxi speed. All right, make me an acrobatics check. He fails. He falls down the stairs in graceless, prudent fashion. He doesn't hit like the stairs on the way down. He just trips and he fall and he hits the bottom of the staircase. Of course. Neener, neener, neener. Never. Who? Also, I have a uh, list of uh, Oblivion quests I think you would like. So if you ever Thank get tired you. Of if you ever get tired of doing the Dark Brotherhood, I can point you in the direction of something. How many? Okay, I have another question. How many of them are danger quests? Uh, one. Two. A three. One of those is a dark. One of them is a dark brotherhood quest. Well, yeah. I mean, we'll get to that one eventually. No, I was just up there. One of them. Joke's on you. 
Joke's on you, you and you were swimming in sewer water. One of them's a danger quest, mostly because I think he'd find it hilarious. I put it at the bottom of the list, so I'm not bottom of the list, so like if it's one to the fifteen. Number fifteen is this one, is the Daedric Shrine quest, because you can do it if you want, but it's funnier if you do it after a certain D if you do it after the Shivering Niles DLC. I summoned it and I summoned it. Well, it's funnier. I gain armor and damage, extra corrosive damage based on how many enemies are around me. I Is he playing Saren? Um, maybe. Ask him what Warframe does he play. I'm judging him. Hey, Goof Goober. He's leveling up Hydreig so he can subs Hydroid to subsume him. Ah, getting a, uh, I believe it's Tempest Barrage, that, that's his subsuming ability. Alright. Yeah, Hydroid's pretty good after his rework. Mm. Ow! But, uh... So yeah, in any case you get bored with doing the Brotherhood of the Dark Brotherhood or want to take a break from them, just ask me for a quest and I'll give you the general direction of one. Huh? What secondary? Now my brother wants to judge you. What secondary do you run? What secondary do I run? Uh... This is probably gonna mean nothing to you specifically, Wolf, but give me a second. Just tell me the name so I can tell him. Yeah, I know. I have I I go between two of them constantly. Uh I use the Latum and the Onos. He Okay. I like my incarnate he's weapons. Latum. He's using Latum right now too. Do you does does his Latum have no recoil whatsoever? Does your Latum have no recoil? <laughs> I assume you heard that. Yeah, I heard he's got steady hands on it. Steady hands and secondary merciless. Ah. Uh, I don't got arcanes on it, I just got a fucking mean ass pistol build on it. Who infiltrated the Imperial prison, eliminated Vale and Red, and killed not one guard. Most excellent. In addition to your standard reward, I present to you this. Ah, uh, the scales of pitiless justice. The scales of pitiless justice. Strength ability and uh, strength agility and ends plus two diminishes your personality by two. Neat. For free six points for the cost of two, it's great. You bitch. Oh, I like this quest. This one's fun. Are you ready? You must go to the city of Coral and break into the house of Francois Mottier. Inside, you will find Mottier waiting for you. Do not kill him. You see, Francois Mottier is a marked man. He owes a considerable sum to the wrong kind of people. So they have sent an enforcer to kill him. Here. You will use this specially poisoned knife to stage Mottieri's death in the Enforcer's presence. 
Secretary himself will provide more details. This is an unusual conference. Gautieri had to make a special arrangement with us before it was approved. I trust in your professionalism. You wanna know something really weird about uh, like how me in this game? I can identify fucking uh, his sword's enchantment by its color. He's got soul <laughs> trap. He's got soul trap on it. It's purple. You All know, right. I'm gonna be honest. It's not that weird. Yeah, I know. It's just more the case of the only tell is the color, and then the brightness of it is how intense it is. So either he's got multiple enchantments on it, or that's a really strong soul trap spell. But anyway, uh, how this assassin, how this quest works? You're gonna go there. You're gonna talk to him. He's gonna tell you what to do. You take that silver dagger, stab him with it. He will pretend to die. Do not kill the uh, person that comes to kill him. So you're gonna have to run away from him. This blade. Yes, it's only good for one swipe. And then later on, you're gonna have to go and give him the antidote. Into the sea of coral. 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 That's my pizza. Yeah, it's basically. Stab. My hoagie alarm. Yeah, it's, that's my. Did you call? Pizza. Did you call your pizza, Carl? No. Uh, that's more a case of timing. Uh, basically, stab guy with not, with magic poison with a special poison knife. Fuck off. Like leave as quickly as possible. No one cares. Main quest. And then, uh, once you've fucked off, return to the chapel and give him the antidote so he can stop be pretending to be dead. I will return in time. And yes, it did say break into his house. Oop. The door isn't red. So you're free to break in. <gasps> oh, well, uh, hello. You must be the one Lucien Lachance told me about. I've been expecting you. Maybe. Much time on the I borrowed quite a bit of gold from some underworld. And, uh, I missed the payment. No, they don't even want the money. They say I insulted them. They've sent an enforcer yeah, to kill me. His name is Hides his heart, sir, and he's on his way here now. Day, That's why I hired you, so you can fake my death. Uh, well, when Hides his heart gets it, I'll put on a little act. You'll cut me with your poison knife, and that vile enforcer will think I'm dead. You must then flee from Coro, and Hides his heart must not be killed. That way he can go back and tell his employers I'm dead. If you wait a day, my body will be put on display in the Coral Chapel underground. You can come to me then and administer the antidote. Got all that? Good. Ice's heart will be here any moment. Get ready. Oh, I do hope this works. <laughs> I am very nervous. <laughs> so I'm going to save. Maybe before you do, maybe before you Heavy cursor energy is what will make them weaker, basically. Seven restrictions are makes them more wrong. That and him just being actually good at fighting. At least part of the event. Twenty four hours later. <coughs> I'm 
very nice. Kind of puts them on double one day. Oh, I had to leave. <laughs> now I have to wait a day. It's been two days! Also, it's been I too long. I swear I heard your brother say the key word. I wasn't listening. Now I wait for it to cool. I return. Have we stabbed the man? Welcome back. We have stabbed. I didn't know I needed to leave the city. Also, this is going to be weird. I could tell Heights' his heart was going to be... It. Hides his heart was going to be an Argonian purely by his voice. And his name. Mm. Really? Argonian names are pretty literal sometimes. What about Khajiit you know, names? Eh, they're a little less literal. They don't have, like, Hides his heart. My a no. liar. Yeah, that one's kind of literal. <laughs> I don't know why I was like, I don't under, I don't understand, I don't get it. You just talk to him. Hi. 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 I'm your number one fan. <laughs> Christ. You'll get up. Oh, I'm a bit stiff, but quite fine otherwise. Ah, yes, the undercroft. My family members are buried here, you know. Which um, leads me to something I may have failed to mention before. My ancestors will see my revival as a desecration of their tomb. This undercroft is, well, quite cursed. Any desecration will cause my ancestors to rise from their graves and defend their rest of them. I can <coughs> to speak. You must protect me. Escort me to the Grey Mare where I can buy passage out of Coral. Ah, here they come. Oh, my, Aunt Margaret. They are looking the worse for wear. It's a few ghosts. Flare Electric up. Blast. I'd say probably, yeah, dude, just spam flare at them. That should kill them. Wait, uh, what's lightning blast? Lightning blast. That works. Oh, you don't have enough magicka. Yeah, cause look at that. That's a lot of fucking magicka. Damn. I guess we're going with flare. He can't die, so... Oh, they're zombies. They're not ghosts. You got your knife out. Oh, this works now. Remember, he's quite squishy. Skedaddle skedoodle. Don't mind this guy coming out of the undercroft. Why are there wolves? Someone likes dogs. A woo.
You know, I don't think I've ever been here, so after I take this fucker to what was the Great Pony he said. Yeah, it's just right outside of, outside of town. Oh, it's right there. The Prancing Pony. Shut up. Shut up, anything. I had to. I didn't say anything. Ah, the gray man. From here I will be able to arrange for transportation out of Cyrodiil. You have served me well, Assassin. Francois is forever in your debt. Don't Farewell. say my occupation aloud! <laughs> Professional WWE star. Fire and steel. When did That's Ben Law come into this conversation? <laughs> Fuck you. Have a look at my works. I'm sure there's something to see to. Welcome to my shop. Would you like to have a look at my wares? Rashid is special. I shall purchase that. High price. I'm interested in this. Hmm. God damn, this is some good pizza. What kind? It's a market type from Walmart. You figured the little, the mini ones are about the same as the frozen ones. So my dad's like, let's just try these. Bacon pizza. I just put some extra cheese on it, that's all I really need. Bacon. Mario Bacon. It's just a bookstore. Yes, but you might have some. Gear is so bad. So what's the gonna... special even do? The gauntlet you purchased. The what? The gauntlet you oh. purchased. What do they even do? Uh, plus five for strength and I think endurance. That's pretty good. We should probably equip those. Oh my god, internet! Oh my god, internet! Hey, Fortify oh, armor, armor and, and strength. Well, the strength helps with your damage. I got mitts now. Yeah, it's I got fucking steel. boxing gloves. Yeah, it's just steel plates over your thing, over your hands. I can't Hope use you. my abilities. I'd say let's do one more Dark Brotherhood assassination. Then what? Then I uh, will ask you for a request. Alrighty. Connection is so bad. Yeah. Holy shit, dude. Damage features good. I 
present to you I now really enjoy this. It unlocks the well. This is a damn good pizza. Well, I wasn't expecting it to and be this nice. Too. Damn good pizza. And hot! Well, yeah, it's just a case of, like, this is the same price for the fucking frozen pizzas we normally buy at Walmart. Like, one, these aren't frozen. Two, these are pretty good. Oh, yeah. She will be providing all your content from now on, and is waiting for you as we speak. Before you go, however, I intend to make good on an offer I made some time ago. As a vampire, I may pass my gift on to others as I see fit. You have served me well. All right. Do you want to be the vampire? Shall I use my dark power? <laughs> You can always come back and ask him for it, if you're not sure. Yes, I can understand your trepidation. For it is not every day one is invited to join the ranks of the undead, eh? If you ever change your mind, fear not. Yep. My offer will always be open. Until a certain and point in the Dark Brotherhood quest, this offer is standing. Neat. Good day. Um, give me a second. Vampirism, oblivion. Let me tell you the benefits of vampirism. Um, you have 100% resistance to disease and paralysis. Uh, you have a bonus, a plus five bonus. To acrobatics, athletics, destruction, hand-to-hand, -hand, illusion, mysticism, and sneak, and strength, willpower, and speed. <coughs> you have a 20% weakness to fire, and you resist 5% of normal weapons. And you take no sunlight damage. So as long as you stay within the first stage of vampirism, which is 25%, uh, you will not take damage in the sun. Neat. Oh my god. Yeah, they actually can help you if, you're, if your uh, brothers and sisters like you. You can uh, ask them for advice and they'll help you. You That's really hate the Dark Brotherhood. Ragnarok got to him. I know where he lives if you just want me to tell you where to go. I know this quest like the back of my fucking hand. Shoot. Uh. There are two ways to go about this. Do you want to talk to his wife, or do you just want to go to where he hangs out? Go to where he hangs out, see if I can find a good spot. Alright. In the Elven Gardens district, there's a building called Lorkmere's House. It is abandoned. You should be able to pick the lock and just go inside and wait.
Though I don't think it is... I think it's red. It might be a red door. Now, what was the name of the place again? Lorkmere's house. Lorkmere's house. It is, uh, let me see if I can get a picture of Lorkmere's house. Lorkmere's house. It has two doors and a balcony on the upper level. And it's white, so you can just pick your way in. Alright, uh, now you can just wait. You won't really run away. He's a schooma addict. He ain't smart. <coughs> Wait till like 11. <coughs> there you go. You should be good. Should be somewhere. At least I think it's till like 11. Let me check his hours again. Da, 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 da. Between 11 a.m. and 5 p.m. Okay. My, my bad. So wait till like 11, surprise, stab him in the butt. You're good. Go in the basement if you want to know something funny. There's Lorkmere. What? Phelan killed Lorkmere to use his house as a skooma den. That depresses me. Should depress you even more. He's friends with he was friends with Lorkmere. Your willpower has been damaged. Good job. You damaged your willpower. Now you can just head back to Coral. Not Coral, Chaden Hall. Hmm, what a lovely town. Chlamydia. And now I'm thinking of you encounter a golden pissy forest, golden pissy trees as far as the eye can be. No. I, the wizard, and no, <laughs> no. <laughs> no. I'm laughing at that. I, me saying no, or the whole meme itself. The meme itself. Can you stop putting your weird and vague fetishes into my D and D, please? Thank you. I donkey punched the bitch. I like you. Yeah, she, Ojeeva's pretty nice. 
All right, so you uh, pick me a number between one and fifteen. Eight. Eight. Second, I have to look up the quest to see if you are able to do it. Where are you? Are you in the... Okay, you're in the trade mall. Count Marius Caro of Leowen is concerned about an orc in his castle who claims to be a knight. You should probably go see what that's up about. Ooh. I just slapped that on. You're not wearing an amulet at the moment. Alright, now give me a direction to go. Uh, Count Maris Caro of Castle Leowen has uh, a problem with an orc who claims to be a knight. You should probably go see what that's up about. Leowen is south of the Imperial City. I think I've gone down here. There's a nice pizza. Anyway, uh, Swamp, Bayou. Hello. Due to its proximity border to Elsewhere and uh, Black Marsh, there's a high count of Khajiit and Argonian immigrants here. Racism is high. Racism between them is even higher. <laughs> no, seriously, they hate, they dislike each other. I believe that. No, one, no wonder I don't like the Khajiit. Everyone's susceptible to racism. Even the best of us. Racism is a universal debuff. You're looking for Castle Leowen. So just find the Count's castle. Wrong place. <coughs> hmm. This is the brawl room. I 
barracks. Nope. The barracks. That's barracks. Should be the door on the left. One. You have very nice armor. That's dwarven. Have money. Hello. Welcome to Leowin. I'm Alicia Cowan, and I have the honor to be the wife of the Count, Marius Cowan. In these difficult times, we must count on a person such as you to secure our borders from bandits and rabble rousers. Profit <coughs> by your lawful pursuit of the unlawful, and we encourage you to attack. Excuse me? I'm sure you have many presents. She's a little bit of a racist. I need your help. You four came here so prepared to make this to be a night. You will not repeat your business. Find out why she was here and report to me. You will be reward soon for those who serve. Yeah, I agree, Wolf's brother. Are you the count? <laughs> no. is not a bitch. The count? Then I can talk to you. I'm Mazoga. Yes, I'm an orc. I was born under a rock and I have no parents. So I don't need a family name. Oh my god, I the guy's you don't like very poor. Monday. Thank you. How kind. I'm a free knight. I don't have a lord. You got a problem with that? You don't know anything about being a knight, so shut up. Now. There's an Argonian named Weebamna in town. We'll go get him. <coughs> Okay then. You could also ask her about her title. I want to steal your armor. I may have skipped a chapter in this quest. It's more the case you probably skipped a bit of a memo because of your refusal to just do what you wanted. Probably. Eh. 
I was thinking it's because I shoved her face full of money. First things first, money. Thank you. How kind. I see. So an orc named Mazoka wants to see me, and she expects me to come to her. I don't know her. I'd be smart to ignore her. But I never learned anything by being smart. And you seem to be a light skipper. So I guess I'll have to go see what this is about. Thank you. You all have so many fucking watermelons. Watermelons. I'm a hunter, and we bomb his apartment. I think he didn't bother you about the rat. He's gone totally rat free. Be safe. Probably not. After spending after long arduous hours of practicing jumping and controlling your falls, you become a journeyman of acrobatics. You now have the dodge ability. Blocking while jumping makes you dodge in the direction of a jump. You'll do a tumbling roll, possibly avoid attack. Alright, so you wanna know something funny? You can chain that. And it looks really silly. Thing is, it's faster than running. Go tell Weebum now I want to. You have to go wait for him to come and talk to her. So like wait an hour. He's arrived. He has, still has to talk to her. He's just arrived into the building. You are greetings of I wanna go to the rock. Where's that? You see the shit? Take me there now. I'm in a hurry. Why? That's my Then to hell with you. Someone has a hair dryer up there. Why are you so pushy? He camps at Fisherman's Rock. So you take me there, and I talk to him, and then we see what happens. You hear me? I talk to him first. No smashing in his teeth or popping off his head. Understand? Talking then right. smashing and chomping? <laughs> okay, now. The Argonian says it's north of Leowin. So for us, maybe like 10 minutes. All the way. Get moving. I'm right behind you. What are we waiting for? You're fat ass. So she can die on the, along the way. However, if you do, if she does die and you fail this quest, it locks you out of doing a subsequent quest afterwards. That subject in quest really isn't important, but it opens up a lot of doors for you for the case of making money. 
and getting some nice objects. God, it's so safe. You already know. You already know. <laughs> I heard that and I had to comment. So passive aggressive. Dodge rolling to travel driver. might not be very smart, but uh, she's following you if you told her to follow you. Don't worry about it. She doesn't actually have to be following. Cannonball. You are a cannonball with that much metal on you. But, uh, once you arrive at where you need to, just wait. She'll show up. She'll catch up. I never thought I'd get a full inventory plan in this fucking game. Well, in this mode, I should say. This was one fucking bullet. Where the hell are you? Ow. Hello there. Get to the brawling. How was his hand to hand, by the way? I'd go help her, she's to your left. So, yeah, help her! And she's dead. No, you got... You... Hello, Mr. I offer you a mister in these trying times. What's the matter? What did you do? You, what do you, mean, you what can did reload the save. And this time, don't get very close to the rock. Let me guess. I'm guessing you ran up to Fisherman's Rock, stood next to everyone, and then waited. Yes. Yeah, they're, they're bandits. They will aggro if you're on their property. So have fun on the run back. Hello, Mr. Yes, you get pets. If you really want to make sure she's following you, you just wait an hour. Should be good. There she is. 
whenever you're trying to, um, whenever you're trying to, uh, you're investing into a little bit of more frame, it's kind of a waste, but eventually you're going to find, uh, It's not a waste, you get MR. MR ranks you up. You more MR, frame, more weapons you can use. The less likely it is. My friend. Interesting. Wolf cut off. He just said, "My friend." I turned off my microphone. Ah. So unless you want to repeat what you just. I, I I just heard you say, "My friend," and then you cut off. Crab. Crab. Crap, people. Just crap. Alright, so like hang at this tree and then just wait for her to. There's an enemy crab nearby. Just back Sorry. away. Just back away until you can, uh, wait. <coughs> Not closer to the. Oh, there you go. Just wait like an hour or two. Burp. She should be right next to you now, somewhere. Towards the ma'am, it's Monday now. Is she in the water? She drowned. No, the web said she's dead. Move a little closer, then wait. Don't have to wait a couple hours, just like wait an hour, check. There she is. She has her sword out, so that's why she's moving so damn slow. Alright, we continue onwards. Oh my god, that is horrifying. You can dodge roll in different directions, you know. The, yeah, they all look stupid. The backwards one in third person is stupidest. <laughs> Do a full backflip and flip. Also, it's really fast in third person. It's really fast. So if you need to get away from something, or just want to travel really quickly, turn around and start backflipping. I'm sorry, that, that is fucking hilarious. Yeah, cause she's just full woman and play go, yeah, yeet. Yeet. Just don't put your fist, just like, just put your fist down, don't do anything. You don't have to talk to her. Get moving. What are we waiting for? Find her. There you go. I just follow her. to start friend, murdering. I don't know what you're talking about. You're a lying bastard. You killed Ravindra, and now I'm going to kill you.
pick one of them and just focus them out. There you go. Yoink. Yoink. You can talk to her now. I kept my oath. Mogan's windshifter is dead. Mogan's windshifter had a gang. They robbed and killed travelers. Ravindra saw and told the guards. Mogan's got away, but first he killed Ravindra, my best friend, Ravindra. That day, I became a knight and swore a knight's oath. I searched for a long time and asked everyone. Then I finally heard he was hiding at Fisherman's Rock. So now you know everything. You helped me, and I won't forget. Take what you want from the dead. I came to keep my oath. I saw my friend killed, I swore I'd be a true knight, and I don't know much about being a knight, but I'm gonna learn. Say, you did me a good deed. You ought to be a real knight yourself. Please, go on. You're a pal. You are very interesting. Yeah, you report back to the account. You can just fast travel straight to the castle. The Emperor's asshole? You can fast travel straight to the castle. <laughs> I know. I'm just quoting something. Ah, remember that era of Nostalgia Critic where half the jokes were... I can't hear, right? Because I don't put on subtitles. Go away, butterfly. Fly, fly, fly. Hello again. Zoga might have had contacts with outlaws. Ask her. Remember, a knight's title shall be your reward. Hello, friend. Thank you again for your help. I know Brugo. Long ago, back before I became Sir Mazoga, I split a share or two. I'm gonna refill my water. Okay, go, Fred. Brugo's a jerk. He's got a hideout in a ruin called Telepi. Every night between midnight and 6 a.m., he stops there to pick up his tape. We're pals, right? Sure. So we'll kill Black Brugo and be knights. I'll wait right here until you ask me to follow you. Hmm. Can I kill him myself? Am 
I'm gonna wait a second before Matt comes back. I sit in my decent room. No lights, no music, just singer. <laughs> I'm only fresh, but I'm feeling better. I return with hydration. I always have hydration on standby. Well, mine ran out. Jokes on you. Always have hydration on standby. I drank all night. I just wanted more of it. Anyway. So, uh, now we gotta fight, uh, what was it? Black Bruma, if I remember his name. Mm-hmm. Now, can we go in alone, or do we need her? You can go alone if you want. Just so she doesn't die. You stay here, I'ma beat his ass. I'ma whoop your ass. I'ma whoop your ass. Why do I smell bubble gum? Good question. That's a sign of a stroke, isn't it? No, that's burnt toast. Where are you? And I'm so sorry. It's probably in that uh -huh. ruin when you're by it. Are you at his uh, green dot or are you just nearby? Yeah, it's probably like, oh, it's in this area. Just go in there, go inside and start kicking ass. Okay. They were just inside. They were lying in wait for an ambush. He's got a fire weapon. This hurts. You're fine. Uh, do you have absorbed health? As a spell? I'd uh, use a health potion. Shit. Well, you can uh, run out 
and start healing yourself. yourself that's the best you can do is really now the time to be duping those are insight potions no wait, never mind Focus on your enemies. You can desecrate the dead later. Homie, also I couldn't tell if they, I just knocked her down or if she was actually dead. Also the case, like, the reason is that probably now is not a good time to do it is because he can pick the potions off the ground. Dwarven, better than steel. His helmet's enchanted. Also, take those black bows. Why? They're worth money. There's a bounty on them. So check all the other people, if they have one on their person, and then swipe them. Also, you could wear a helmet. Ow. You've been paralyzed. You've been paralyzed. Calluses over your knuckles and joints from long punching and kicking. At long last, your journeyman in hand to hand combat. You sidestep power attacks now have the chance to disarm your opponent. Press hold the attack while moving left or right to use the power attack. Uh, you're also now able to punch ghosts. They say you got really? Weapon, by the way. That black marsh helmet's actually pretty useful. I do. I throw it. It explodes. It spreads. It spreads electric and viral rocks everywhere, and it just spreads to uh, every single enemy. Hold on, those guys, that guy's stuff's enchanted. Water walking, that's useful. I'm walking on water. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now we can just leave. I'm actually curious. When we get outside, I want you to try something. Try to dupe the bows. Wouldn't that well, immediately over encumber him? I'm just curious to see if it works. It does work. He also po he has potions of feather. I guess that's also true. Yes, but 394. Maybe. Hold on. How strong is the feather? It's 100 points. Damn, we're still over encumbered. Alright, I have a better idea. Drop a few of them. Just a few. Just a swinge. There we go. Now we fast travel. And we dupe the bows in the Count's house.
I mean, I could just also save one. Actually, wait a minute. Why don't I just fast travel and put some of my shit back? God, I'm just depressed. Fuck, I'm miserable. Fuck, I'm miserable. God damn it. I hate how well that works. This is just listening to Pat Main. Oh. Uh... Why are you why are you doing this to yourself, homie? What? Because they got nothing better to do. Uh Wolf's doing Alan Wake 2, the final draft, and he's listening to Pat Main, one of the talk show hosts, and unfortunately well, it, it, it really it re it really implies that Pat's lost it. Like he's going senile. It's more than senile, it's like he's going He's got like dementia or something, because he can't even remember things he just heard most of the time. <laughs> Wait a minute. I'm going to put one bow away. Oh. I can't move. Cause you're over encumbered. Yes, time to do. Pick one of them up, drink it, pick up the rest. So, 
What exactly do we do with the bows? Turn them into account Sell for money. Them. Turn them into the count for money. Yes. Also, the count's asleep, so you're gonna have to wait for him to come back. So just stand next to his, stand in front of his throne, stand in front of his throne. But see, because the second that feather wears off, you're gonna be over encumbered. I know, but I have multiple now. Should be there around like noon. Talk he, was to the count. he was asking me, not you. Just leave some of them on the floor. I, man. I like how he said, leave some of them on the floor. You pick them all up. Not drop all of them. You hurt my brain sometimes. That's why we're friends. It's more the case that you tell you to do something. You proceed to do the opposite of it, and then fumble around for a little bit. And then do the exact extreme of it. Just drop one of them. Singular. One. Juan. Juan. Go find Juan at Home Depot and drop him. <laughs> no, I have a Juan at my work. He's a nice guy. I'm not going to drop him. Put him on the floor gently then. <laughs> Leave it there. He is very dead. Justice has been done, and henceforth the Zoe and you shall be known as Knights of the White Sound. May I present you the purpose of Moran, a key to Wake Stallion Lock, and a sheet. Free housing. Mazoka's key and sheet shall be delivered to her directly. I promise you a bounty of one hundred gold. Yes. Here is your reward. And this other black bone. Yes. Here is your reward. I would just start spamming the yes button. Still have more of them, I think. Okay, you've ran out of black bows. I have one at my house. Okay. So if we ever need money, we go to this motherfucker. If we ever need it. money. Yes, you get the point still. Look, if we're not duping shit for money... These black bows are actually pretty useful. Because 50 of them is a 5,000 gold. Did you tell the Count about Black Rugo? So, am I a knight? Yes. God's goons. Not just a knight, but a, a knight errant. That's a real special kind. This bitch just said God's testicles. She's just excited. Thank you kindly, Knight of the White Stallion. Sounds good. Damn good. I'm a knight errant now, and I don't care who knows it. So thank you. You've been good to me, and I won't ever forget it. So I better get started doing my good deeds, and maybe I'll see you at the White Stallion Lodge. Good day. 
happy. Yes. This was good. You know what? I think we got time for another one. Alright, pick a number between 1 and 15. 4. 4. She'll just kind of go out and go do that. Damn, you got some titties. Runellis in Bruma. Uh, Cornelius Runellis in Bruma recently had an encounter with a vampire hunter, well, self proclaimed vampire hunter. You should probably go talk to him. Maybe give him a hand. Alright, whereabouts in Bruma are we going? You are going to talk to Corellius Rulius. He is a person oh, of the Bruma City Watch. Uh, he starts outside of uh, Lyrian's house. Uh, you can go, you can probably talk to people about rumors. They might be able to point you in the directions. Just go to the inn, talk people up, ask about rumors. It's all over, lawbreaker. Your spree is at an end. Again, so we need you. Let's move visuals. What did you do? I think it's because I murdered somebody. Murder's a thousand. I have no idea what the fuck I did. Oh! I think I may have lockpicked something. Hey, it's snowing. Twenty-five bucks. Don't care. Talk to one of the guards. Maybe they can give you some rumors. What do you mean? Uh. Give me a second. It's rumor. Ford wins. I think I'll see if this this is level. This quest, does this quest have a requirement? It requires you to blinky blonky like you've never blinky blonky before. Alright. Uh, to the right side of the chalice, the chapel, chapel of Talos. Should find his house. So walk towards the chapel, head on its right side. And just start sweep. Start checking doors. Whose house is it again? Uh, do 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 No, that was the right house. You were looking at it. Go back. Brandon. Brian Lurius. The 
first house you looked at. The first house you looked at. Give him money. And no one other than ourselves, our Reynolds Reds, will be allowed access. Give him money. Give money given. Now talk to him about shit. I suppose there's no harm in telling you that. We're as balanced as about the old man. Turns out that Brave Delirium is a vampire. He was. If it wasn't for Reynolds Reds, Weeks, we found two bodies stashed in shallow graves outside the city walls. The bodies had punctured wounds on their necks. The bodies were those of some beggars who used to wander the streets and keep their hands Is it 1500 AD? No. Then, then fuck, fuck off. off. This quest is time sensitive. He tracked the vampire to this house. So basically, once you start, just don't stop until you finish. Don't can't stop a dig to do the shindig. Choose not to live a life of imitation. You know what? That's actually a good song. What? Can't stop? Yes. Yeah. I don't listen to Red Hot Chili Peppers, unfortunately. Just go to the tap and tack. It's a bar, I believe. And ask about the guy. Uh, whereabouts would that be? Should be on the, uh, right in front of you. Turn around. Turn around. Left. That's right. Right. Again. No. Right at the city gate. That should be the tap. Yep, that's the tap attack. What did I do? Is that the man server, remember? You can just have a conversation with the guy while while he's doing this. Not him, the other guy. The the innkeeper. That guy. What can I do for you today? Well, first oh things God. first. Hold on a minute, man trying to murder me. Ask about Bran. I know I may be out of line by saying this, but I think the city guards may be wrong. It's hard to imagine Braden was a vampire. I could have sworn I saw him outside in the Unless he just got that disease very recently, I'd say they were mistaken. When I heard Rainhill killed here, I didn't know what to think. But after your visit here, I'm beginning to wonder. Hmm. Good. I just walk out. Also, did you start the quest? Like in your quest log? Uh, I should question his wife. Yeah, we'll talk to his wife. He's just gonna be following me around all day. He's gonna follow you until someone kills him. Back to his wife. <sighs> Give her money. Happening so fast. I think only just a few hours ago. 
By installing and reinstalling doesn't it break anything. Why would he snatch a body in his own house? That's ridiculous. And a <sighs> word of caution. Well, for me anyway. Well, this is my experience. I'm not sure if this is happening for anyone else. The DLC for now and break. I think it broke the auto save system entirely. Don't trust him. The thing that bothers me the most is that I swear I've seen him before. Of course, he says he's never been here. Look, there isn't much more to say. Please, help me clear my husband's name. Thanks. Mm. Thanks. I have no idea where he is. Just find him and make him tell you the truth. I swear he's a All right, now you can go talk to Olaf and the tap and tack. I know I sound desperate. No. I, Fucking Star Wars Episode 4. You just cease to be. Just. Ah, ah. If you strike me down, I shall become more powerful than you can ever imagine. Nope, you still look dead to me. Now you can ask about me. I usually don't give up that kind of information, especially to people I don't know. Give him money. Alright. With a few. Well, we can't bribe him. Oh fuck! So we have to convince. Oh, uh, hold on. I have to ask him to tag along. With some little persuasion. You ain't gonna finesse me with that line, buddy. I heard that if that line's dime a dozen everywhere I go. Him again? You, of course. I usually don't give out that kind of information. All right, we're gonna have to play the persuasion game. I uh, I can't persuade. At least I don't think so. Oh, his disposition is maxed. Hi, All right, hi. so we're gonna have to skip a bit. Speaking to Russ, talk to Olaf. All right. I'll thank it. Check the doors. The other door. The other door. Other door. God damn it, it needs a key. Because that's his room. Don't sleep. Did he break something? Maybe. Uh, endurance. I was gonna say go for agility. Try talking to him again. What can I? I usually don't give out that kind of information. Can you pick the lock? Can you pick the key? For no, me? it requires a key. Wait, hold on. I have an idea. I have a dumb idea. Is it killing him and taking the key? He's essential, you can't kill him. Crouch and pickpocket him. Does he have the key on it? 
You can just look in their inventory without aggroing anyone. Okay, yeah, he has yes. it. So close his inventory. Okay, he doesn't see you. Save. Try to swipe it. And if you're feeling ballsy, also try to take your money. Let's go gambling. We're time sensitive here. We can't really wait for much. One of your parts is broken. Hey, do you hear heavy metal good. stuff? You're, you're good. Floor? What? Is that not the key? Hold on. Hold on. Sorry. Hold on. While, while you're holding on, you might want to repair your shit. Some of it's broken. It said he already caught you, like, but... to him about Brandon. What can I do? I know I may be out of line. I could have sworn I saw him outside in the daylight when I heard I used to go Good journey. What is going on here? Give me a second. Oh, the second tag gets the key. Gives you the key. In his room, you can find. Check to see if there's any other doors in here that require a key. Check that chest. Nope. All right. Could I knock right. him out and pickpocket him? I have an him? idea. I, I have an idea. I have an idea. Stand up. Take out your fist. Punch him once. Block and then Hold try on. to talk. What am I holding on for? He probably had to step away for a second. I have two ideas for him when he comes back.
but yeah, that <clears throat> that problem is gonna be that problem's more than moderate, more than slightly annoying. It's fixable. It's just the case of his personality isn't high enough to have a natural disposition, because bribing only goes up by thirty or forty points. Well, there's that, but I'm more or less talking about the, the issue I was talking about earlier. Oh. You know how one DLC being added broke and it broke the auto save system. You know, can I just say I'm sorry that I essentially bug you guys for whenever I want to bitch and moan, so now I know how much of a pain in the ass it is. <laughs> anyway, now what was your instructions, Matthew? Uh, equip a weapon, draw it, talk to Orlev, see if you can bribe him. Just equip, play the wall, draw it, talk to him. What can I do for you today? Go to bribe him. Go ahead. Bribe him. Thank you. I'll Put it away and then talk to him again. Back out. And... Back out. Put it away. Talk to him. Good journey. What can I do for you? Rainil staying in the last okay. room down the hall upstairs. Here's the key. I always liked Brayden and Arlene. They were a nice couple. I hope you get to the bottom of this, because I don't believe he was a vampire either. Hello. See that? Let's go to journal. Alrighty, down to skin red, I'm assuming. Uh...
think that is the next part of the quest. No, it's not. Just follow that red arrow. How are you? Well met. Oh, you're back. So, any new revelations in your... How do you know about that? Oh, too many people don't know how to keep quiet about official matters. Very well. The Skingrad City Watch informed us that Gelaborn was killed by Rainer not too long ago. Therefore, his clan was recognized. What do you mean you disagree? That's a bold statement. What proof do you have that Gelaborn was not a vampire? Oh. Then don't go around flinging accusation and hearsay. If you dare accuse someone of a crime, you must have the proof to back it up. Now, if you believe what you're saying is true, go get me the proof. All right. Keep up the good work, I suppose. I guess we are going to skin grad. No. In order to find out the supposed proof that Gelborn was indeed, in fact, a vampire. Coral skin red. I hear a microwave. I'm making popcorn. I'm making burritos. No, popcorn. The Sekis. Matt? Mm. Well, how do I find proof? How do you find what? <laughs> proof. <laughs> <coughs> Uh, in the room find diary called Gelbor's journal behind the drawers. Wait, I didn't take it? Did you not did take you pick that? It up? Did you not did you just pick it up and look at it? I swear to god. I'm mad. The one time your loot goblin tendencies don't kick in. No, I I fucking read it. You read but it, you but didn't you take it. Need, yeah, but you didn't take it. You just can't take it and say, yeah, I read this. You believe me? Believe me? You're solving a murder investigation. You physically need the object as evidence. There. Now you should be able to. Uh, it describes it describes a hidden cave near Bruma. So it should point you in the direction of a cave. Hello. So, what proof of your outlandish accusations have you brought me? This. I, I don't know what to say. It all makes perfect sense to me. Why else would Rainer have removed this journal from the crime scene in Skinbrand? I heard no mention of a key here. It must have been removed by Rainer from Braden's body before we arrived. The thing that two and that I'm responsible for one of their deaths, I Too suspicious. I will rouse the guards and begin to search for him in the city. Meet me at Olaf's path attack in one hour.
What kind of popcorn? Buttered. What other kind would there be? Kettle. Well. Sweet. No butter. Movie theater butter. Extra do. butter. Oh boy! Did you say sweet popcorn? Skedaddle, skadoodle. You have my authorization to do everything you can to bring him to justice. If you best move your ass. I think you know Yeah, you have a day. You're now on your time limit. Go. Because you're tight. I'm dying. Stop dying. No. Stop throwing at me! No last words for the eighth! Wrong way. Well, there's no other way. It's just go. Just go around the city. If you really want to speed run there, backflipping. Third person backflipping. Just make sure you're heading in the right direction. I've never seen this. I've never seen this fucking thing. Fucking rocks. Yeah, it's almost like this area is mountainous. Oh, this area is still How's mountainous. How she's able to do that? How she's able to do that in like heavy plate armor? Just flip, 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 flip. That's a sigil spell. No, that's a. It's a fucking. It's a buckstone. I can't remember the name of it. It's not a sigil <laughs> stone though. It's like a sorcerer stone or something. Gives you some bound armor for a little bit. Bound armor in this game is actually pretty good. I remember I, I played a conjurer build once, and I just had a spell that was just... I called just my... just I, I, I think I called it an <coughs> ass-kicking outfit. Just summon armor, shield, sword. Let's go. It's my ass-kicking outfit, bitch. Keep going. Keep back flipping, back flipping. <coughs> you should probably be close enough to the cave to for the warrant normal moving. to one specific location in the mountains for some dude riding out there on presumably a horseback or some bitch backflipping through it on in plate armor. The answer may surprise you. Keep good to go one. Ooh neat. Guess we gotta look for him. There he is. Uh Hello. I had a feeling we would catch on sooner or later. Leaving that journal behind was a stupid mistake on my part. I saw you enter Olaf's tavern tent before I could get there, and I knew that I had to sneak out the room somewhere. It was only a matter of time before you or Catalyst figured it out. No matter. I'll drive. 
kill you, I won't need my vampire hunter use any longer. Try me, bitch. Certainly not. I'm surprised Carriers didn't send the entire city watch on. But then I would have seen that coming, I suppose. I expected to lay low, and then be on my way. So again, I underestimate. This leaves me with little choice. Either I fight you now and have a chance of freedom, or I surrender and rot in a city dungeon. I prefer the chance for freedom. Yes, I suppose it is. Well then, we've talked enough. Only one of us will walk out of here alive this time. Good luck. Remember your side power attacks have a chance to disarm. Is that sword any good he's using? It's an elven great sword. The Elven stuff in Oblivion. <coughs> you ran out of fatigue. You oh. ran out of fatigue and finally took fatigue damage. <coughs> Bitch. Loot him. Take his shit and his money. Run him for his shoes. Take his shoes too. Fuck him. Bitch. All right. The mundane amulet. Yeah. Da, 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 da. Return. Da, da, da. Of, uh... Now you go back and talk to the lady. Chug it, chug it, chug it, chug it, chug it. It's like fucking backdashing in Symphony of the Night. Brave has to go sitting in the corner. You Bitch, you just gave away my most valuable you possession. Bitch! Your ass is getting haunted completed forever. Brotherhood betrayed. Your ass is getting haunted for the rest of your life. And you got the factory of, li of lightness. It increases your speed. By six points.
I'm already doing... pretty fast. Well, yeah, these are just small little side quests that are interesting. I don't know, let me, let me hit you with another one. Number sure. three. One through fifteen. One through fifteen, he said fifteen. Oh, I said three. Three? Oh. Arena Valga of Coral has had some valuable painting stolen from her. You should probably talk to her and help her get them back. It said Countess, right? Yes, Countess. So, castle asshole we go. Hello there, Ara. Hello. How goes it? Nah. You talked to Biddle? Uh, you did earlier. Why? Hello. Hello. Welcome to Castle. Yeah, I saw him chatting in your, uh, it's a pleasure to meet you. Sean Tw I saw I'm him chatting in your, uh, while you, when you were streaming. Oh, I didn't yeah, get the afraid, didn't get the opportunity to talk to him. Either that or he was ignoring me for some reason. I think he was ignoring you. I'm sorry. He must have seen my but he must have seen the, like my you know my uh you. Oh, my messages, well, like he didn't even bother to say hi. Me. I mean I'll admit that was a bit weird, I would have thought you'd at least see a comment. I know when I talked to him earlier, he said he was going in between streams because he was also watching his friend's stream at the same time as mine. But that that still doesn't explain why he didn't see your comment. Um, I was gonna call him in a little bit. I can ask him about it if he wants. All right. All right. Um, I'll dip for a second. I'll call him right now, and um, I'll get back to you. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, no problem. Uh, I'll be right back. Here are some keys. They should allow you access to many of the restricted areas in Castle Cole. So this requires some detective work. Again? Yes, but actual detective work. Good luck investigating. Alrighty, I'm assuming up here. Yeah, the witnesses are round about. Hello. Have you ever been interested in joining the Major Store? Yep. Get the quest active. Okay. <coughs> I think I remember doing this one. Vaguely. Some detective. There we go, no one will ever know.
It was you. Chanel and Orgnar both reside in the private quarters section. They have been restricted to remain indoors, so they should be easy to find. You may also want to speak to Bitten, the captain of the guard. He can be found on patrol in Coral or in the barracks. Finally, I would try speaking to Orak Rogoth, who is my steward. He resides in the private quarter section as well. If he isn't in the castle, he may be at the northern goods and trade, buying food to stock our larder. Good luck, investigators. What happens if I excuse? <laughs> and basically you accusing them of stealing the painting. So don't do that unless you're sure it's the person who did it. And if you do accuse them, you need evidence. Get the razor disposition if they don't want to talk to you. Fucking coal felt. Or coal Phelps of the medieval age. Pardon me. Go ahead, please. See, but that hard. Huh. I don't remember Then again, I stayed in my quarters most of the point of going on my usual walk all the rain They seem fine to me. 
gotta get that checked out some fucking time, man. I know what it is. It's a fucking cold. You've had this cold for pl a week plus. A month plus. Yeah, it's not fucking cold at that point. Colds don't last that long. Whatever it is, it's good. My legs. Money. For me? That. I'm sorry, I wasn't in that evening. I was making my rounds in the park. The only odd occurrence lately was with Janet. I have seen her spending a lot of time in the West Tower. When I asked her about it, she said it involved her spell research. I suppose at the time it sounded good enough. If you need help, you can ask me for assistance. Greetings, hmm. investigator. I hope the investigation goes well. Return to me when you've found the culprit. I was elsewhere at the time of the robbery, and the chamber was locked. The only other people who have had access to the chamber and were unaccounted for are the court mage, Chanel, and the porter, Aubrey. Don't forget to check with Bitmeld, the captain of the guard, my steward, Oruk Grobok, and my herald, Lace Wabbit. So the only people who have access to it are two people. So let's start with uh, Orwell the drunk. He probably should be easy to find. I mean, I've already talked with them, but... <coughs> Not that though. Why does it get worse during the night? Oh, there's Chanel right there. Uh, Kavine, she walked right into us. Uh, uh, fine. Just talk to her about what she did. Uh, did you, or did you already do that? I already did that. All right. Uh. 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 uh let's go to the. Uh, if I recall correctly, she said she went to the dining area after that. So let's check the dining area. Owie, fall damage. Check the carpet. Next thing, let's investigate the, uh, the tower that was nearby for both assailants. Don't do that. So we have to go to the west tower. So I believe that's outside. 
I think it's outside. <coughs> so it should be on the west side of the courtyard. It should be like a tower out like a out here ish. There it is. Can we get in? Yes we can. Have a swoop about. What a thrill. What a gander around. Start looking through stuff. Hello. What do you want? Hold up. He, he's just here. This long to fucking figure that out? Seriously? Hmm? Welcome back. Yeah, I just found out something. Oh, the darkness see. shield? He has nothing gorgeous. Let's just search around. Dark shields only, the darkness shields only cover their bodies. Headshots still count, even with the shields up. I think we're in the arch. Let's search the lower area. Just look around, will you? It's pretty. tower I'm guessing that goes in the box. Oh Stand something someone in the castle is a painter let's look at their stuff Let's go talk to Chanel. Go search her. Uh, have we been? To, have we been to her room? Don't believe I have. You have to go find her room, so it won't be locked. So just try to find her room. They should be relegated to their quarters, which they fell.
fuck was? We're looking for Chanel. Like, this isn't her room. I know. Doesn't hurt to rummage around in other people's areas. I mean, it's pointing towards her. Alright, uh, let's talk to her first, before you accuse her. I hope your search for the painting goes well. What's your disposition to you? 82. Alright, uh, let's, uh, jacuse. Are you accusing me of taking the painting? Yes, I'm accusing you. So behind her painting, I rolled a portrait. You're good. She gave it to you. Wrong turn. Just follow the red arrow. Ma'am. It doesn't give you a jump. Ma'am. Oh, you have returned to the station, and I'm eager to hear the results. Whom did you accuse? Chanel. I'm shocked to hear of Chanel's crime, for she has always been such a nice member of the court. I see that your evidence is without question. She shall be banished from Castle Coral and stripped of her duties. However, I am not without pity, and therefore she shall not be jailed. But she is never to set foot in Coral again. Congratulations on a job well done. As a reward, please accept this bounty of gold and gems. You've earned it. I'm sorry, but I don't feel comfortable telling you. I'm listening. I'm sorry. Damn. Or, uh, if you need to quickly raise your disposition again, uh, you can do the same thing you did with Olav. Take a weapon out, draw it, talk to them. It is quite nice to see you again. Grab mm. them a bit more. Talk, I'm stop, sorry, stop. But I don't feel stop talking to them. Put away your weapon and then talk to them. Farewell. It is quite. You are. There is a positively gorgeous home for sale right on the main property. You'll be hard pressed to find a nicer home for sale in Syria. It's a pleasure to have you become a citizen of Coral. I'll take care of the deed. Here is your key. The house is on the main plaza between the statue and the chapel. The last tenant of Arbor Watch has cleaned the place of furniture. I'd recommend stopping by Northern Goods and Trade. The owner, Seed Nils, should have everything you need. <coughs> Neat. Time to go purchase furniture. I don't know why, but I imagine I jumped through that archway and I fucking halted for a second. Just imagine the most cartoony crunch sound.
metalpipe.wav. Wow, this place reminds me of your house in Fallout 4. Yeah, I can kind of see it. Gotta go get it furnished. Time to go purchase some mustard packets. Ah, oh, fuck, it's Neatus Deletus. I've actually forgotten where my house is. Where do I live? Do you see where I live? Do you know where I live? Yes, it's right there. How can I live without you? Very easily, watch. <laughs> Yay, I have another home. I have a billion of these. Property. Property damage. Property damage. I'm going to sleep for 16 hours. <laughs> I've solved a murder, several investigations, I've taken a nappy. And I didn't level up. Yeah, you had no level up. That is a fucking twin bed. <laughs> <coughs> so, what's next on your docket? You know what? I think I have time to fit in one more murder. You wanna do a murder?
Enter the Eliminator. Yes, run away terrified, you sibyls. Oh, oh boy. Oh god, it's this one. Far to the west, there lives a this one's gonna be a doozy. Loyal mercenaries. Your target is the warlord. Do you accept this contract? Yes. Excellent. Now it's <laughs> I was Absolutely. never able to do this one. Even with a proper stealth build? No, I never do stealth builds. Okay, that that might be part of your problem. Yeah, I tried though. I attempted. You must infiltrate Fort Such, find Potter's medicine, and replace it with a poison bottle I will provide. But you must remain undetected. Whomever arranged this contract wants it to look like Robert died from his illness, so discretion is essential. Attack no one. And soon. If you are detected, the poisoning will fail, and Roderick must be killed in some other manner. That will, of course, forfeit your goals. Well, let's give it the old college try. Invisibility would help. Uh, talk to Majardar. He sells spells. You might be able to get a cheap invisibility spell. I mean, I have potions, but... Yeah, it's just a case of uh, all avenues. Skeletons. You have two. You're gonna need more. Yes. But first.
I'm assuming it's this thing I'm looking at. Fort? Yeah. No one should see you. Remember the case of when you interact with anything, you break invisibility. How many potions do you have? Forty-five. You might want to make more. <laughs> Knowing you, you're gonna need more. Remember to drop one. Good enough. Go in here. Uh, I know a trick. If you drink and interact at the very same time, you should come up on the other side invisible. Go quickly. <laughs> Welcome to why this place is pain. Don't move. Just inner. Don't let him touch you. Don't let him touch you. <laughs> Just interact and drink as quickly as possible. Like, interact, drink. Go, go. Follow the arrow. Just follow the arrow. Sure, no one's around. What the fuck is this? Take his medicine and replace it with the poison. Ramen seasoning. Ramen seasoning pack. Should be a McDonald's. quest item. With mask. Drink a potion quickly. Now here's where the game never wanted to cooperate with me. Leaving. Because that one guard in the front is an asshole. And he only really moves when he wants to. <laughs> Coming in. Yeah, yeah you're yes. coming in.
Scurry, scurry quickly. Go! Skedaddle away! Skedaddle away! Skitter away, skitter. Also, the one thing that kind of annoys me is when I can't try to go through the front door, there's like five guards in the front. Why are there none for you? That annoys me. You should be far enough away to fast travel. Actually having fun. Oh boy. <laughs> Again, bringing up the fact that I'm in full plate armor is just makes this even more funny. I call bullshit. You do. It pleases me greatly to offer you this reward and a well earned bonus. Go on, rest. I'll have another contract ready whenever you want. Part of me wants to do another one, but. What do you gentlemen think? I'm kind of tired. I understand. I think I shall save. <laughs> Sleep. Ah, ah. Ah. All right, which one's Matt? Strength, endurance, last one's your choice. I'd say speed. Go faster. What if my speed's at a hundred? Also, uh, did you ever think of becoming a vampire? Eh, I'll dwell upon that maybe next time. Like I said, if you I... stay within the first level of it, it's just a plus five to most of your stats. How do you increase the vampirism is the question. Don't, don't feed. Don't feed. That's simple and easy. Just become a vampire, but neglect it. Yes, because apparently the more hungry you are, the stronger you are. I never understood Elder Scrolls vampirism. Because they're all like that. The more you go without feeding, starving yourself of your living thing you need to live, and you get stronger. And when you do feed, sustain yourself, and as a living organism, you are weaker. Yeah, that's stupid. That's really stupid. There's the reasons I use Mob and Skyrim to reverse that. I mean, yeah, it kind of seems like it would make more natural sense that, you know, the higher level you are, the more hard you would get. You know what would make more sense? The higher, the lower you're, the more you fed, the higher okay. magic would be. So and just the more hungry. Oh, for fuck's sake. Go ahead. 
what would make more sense is if if you the more if you were not hungry you were the most fed your magic would be would your magic would be like really high and the hungrier you were your <coughs> would be higher because you know you're getting more feral ah that would probably be better I hope for Elder Scrolls 6 they don't just fuck it up and just do the same thing again Todd, we really need to change this vampirism thing. It just works. Creation engine is still working. Good day. I was stricken with Cornelia, perhaps in the. Ah, you are interested then. Shall I pass along the terrible power of my dark? Yes, but I'm not going to suck. Ah, most excellent. Here is what you must do. Simply go to sleep here in the sanctuary at any time, and I will visit you as you slumber. I will wrap you in vampirism's dark embrace. You'll never even know I was there. But when you awaken, we will be of the same blood. Once infected with vampirism, you must wait three days and then sleep once more. Then the dark gift will truly take hold. Sleep now and awake anew. Good day. Just go take a nap. All right, now we're going to stand here for three days. I'm not joking, by the way. Stand here for like three or four days. Three nights. Seven, seven, uh, seven days and seven nights. Just, that's the power of everything. J one. There's one. J two. We got a new schizo post. Some people are thinking the second trailer is gonna drop in August. Sounds like some schizo posting. Yeah. Because they're basing it off of a fucking tattoo from one of the promotional images. Sometimes I question the fandom you're in. Well, I need to remind you, you're also into some weird fandoms as well, homie. Yes, but they don't grasp at straws just fucking hard. Yes. But unfortunately... I will say that's because every company you're a part and every company that you fuck around with, you know, they're usually pretty chill. They don't mind showing the fan shit. It's like, here's some shit we're making. And by day three, I sleep, right? Yeah. Okay, have a, have a nap. But what were you saying, Wolf? Yes, Wolf? I found out some, uh, this is a little bit of old news. I also found out some, um, disconcerting. Uh, news about that new Danganronpa strat strategy game. Disconcerting. Mm -hmm. Apparently, they're putting everything they have into this, and if it fails, the company might go under. Oh boy! So your dream? support your so support your local dance. So support your local chinsofts. You dream of someone sleeping peacefully in his bed when a shadowy gaunt figure suddenly enters the room. Approaching the bed, the figure leans down and sees its fangs into the person's sleeping person. In a few moments, the pale figure rises, blood dripping down her chin. The color flows back into the vampire's face. Her features fill out and you recognize the face as your own. You will wake screaming. Congratulations, you're now a vampire. But do you Neat. look like a vampire? Yes, you do. <laughs> <laughs> you got Reven Lyco. <laughs> no! 
You have been made. You have been made white. You got whitewashed. Don't I'm going back. <laughs> I got really like That's the skin condition, Michael Jackson. Had. I'm sorry. I'm going back. It's such I'll a great. Go back. It's such a great buff, though. <laughs> no. Let me just like... let me level with you. This is the majority of the reason I wear a closed helmet. I find a closed helmet and I wear it like 90% of the time. Look at, I'm look, look, I don't know why they think vampires need to be pale as shit, given their race. He should have been at least gray. Look like Michael Jackson. The buffs are so good too. It's like plus five to most of your skills that you use. Uh. And it's immunity to paralysis and disease. Uh. <laughs> Where is a closed cool. helmet? Uh. There's dwarven <laughs> helmets, Daedric helmets. <laughs> You dying? Yes. What's the news from the other parts of Tamriel? Head gear. Give me a second. Uh. There's the Daedric helmet. There's the Dwarven helmet. And that's about it, I think, for closed helmets. So you're, so you're stuck oh no, there's also the, the madness armor, but uh, that really you get that. That's in, that's in fucking uh, Shivering Isles. We're not we're not we're far from that. I don't know you, and I don't care. No one gives a fuck about you either. Before I have you slapped in iron. Get out of my way before I have you slapped in iron. Yes, he's a dick. Yeah, how, about I, how about I slap you? <coughs> and trust me, when I slap, people don't get back up. You motherfucker. Stop! No. Pussy bitch. <laughs> that pussy fucking disappeared. I... Well, part of me wants to be a vampire, but, you know, after learning it turns you white, no. <laughs> it's like one of the key things of my fucking character. I... I don't know. I'll dwell upon it, because, like, I just probably need to just let it go. But man, is it gonna fucking bug me? Are you if if you're well fed? Do you like retain skin condition, or is it just that was carnival? well fed? Right. That was well fed. Yep, that's twenty five percent. You started. You still look like a fucking ghoul. <laughs> what ask, happened? Ask fucking Todd Howard. It's Todd, better. In, it, it's better in Skyrim because all it changes is your fucking eyes. Let me ask, what does the lowest level look like? Uh, the, without the most hunky, uh, your face goes lemon. Like, just get a picture up. Give me a second. Let's get some images here. Ah, uh, yes, here we go. Like, we have an absolute like abomination to being the being the subject like monkey for at, this. It's like it's like you're looking at autopsy photos. Behold, this is you before and after vampirism. Oh my god! So the first one is your normal. First one, that's stage one. That's stage two, and that's stage three. Then there's stage four. 
terminal lemon. Lemon. That is that is horrible. That is a whole new level of horrible. The fourth one doesn't one, change much. The third one's what you get at four. You don't lemon any harder. But here's the stupid thing. That five point bonus across the board to speed, willpower, the speed, willpower, and strength, acrobatics, athletics, destruction, hand to hand, illusion, mysticism, and sneak, that gets higher as you get hungrier. At That's stage stupid. four, it's 20 points across the board. I understand, like, from back from Morrowind, vampirism was fucking overpowered. <laughs> Because it used to be reversed. Like, the more hungry you were, the weaker you were. It made sense. What happened? Ah, fucking not that old fucking mole. They hate fun, so they balance rid it, so they rebalanced it. Yeah, and then fucking they made it a bit better in Skyrim. And I only hope in Elder Scrolls 6 we fucking get something. The only thing worth being in Skyrim is a fucking higher vampire <coughs> or a werewolf. Vampire Lord, in my opinion, is better than the werewolf. I like werewolf. Well, let's say goodbye to being black. <laughs> Time to get rid of Vitiligo. No, it's just Vitiligo. Revitiligo would be becoming black. Oh, uh, this hurts my that's soul. The, that's what it was. It was that's the opposite of the skin condition that Michael Jackson had. You've lost your black card. No. You lost the gamer word pass. I mean, it kind it's of, because I'm. It is like case of vampires are, uh, ignore the ignore the sun, and when you don't have the sun, you get pale. Like, it makes sense from a logistical standpoint, but the cause and effect, like, the effect of it is so fucking pronounced. God. The oh, things now, I now, do now for I'm, buffs. Now, now I'm curious. The funny thing, if I recall correctly for Argonians, it doesn't really do much. What do you get to change for Argonians? You get a little what lighter, I for, guess. What do you get for Argonians and Khajiit? What is there to change? Uh, you get fat and Skyrim, you get fangs. Your fangs get longer. So like your front, you get some fangy. Those get. Cause you actually have fangs on your person. I have we beat. I have we beat this. Cause I beat this. For I actually liked being a vampire Khajiit because you actually look like a saber tooth tiger. But how big your fangs get? I am now white. Are you sure uh, this is level one? This looks like level two. You can check. Go to active effects. effects it's under magic magic go to your magic stab skull with a lightning bolt yeah you're at level one well you're level uh, zero vampire you have resist normal weapons five Now we just fire won't really phase you much because you have resistance to magic. <coughs> now, uh, you want to see something stupid? Yes. What's stupid? Uh, you want to see a picture of a vampire Argonian? Okay. Yes. 
let's see the beat this. This one is called Beatis because he. Okay, you know us. how the Orgonian eyes, right? They are they're reptilian. Uh -huh. Yes. Gaze upon this. <laughs> they get like fucking wide human eyes. I'm gonna laugh. Let's see. Yep. I am now man. We I, am now an Ar I am now an Argonian cosplayer. He's got the fuck me eyes. He doesn't look like he's in this universe anymore. Oh, there goes the police. Ooh, that was spooky. They turned off the siren, but the lights were still flashing. Well, e the things I, I do I'm for a, buffs. I'm a whore for buffs. I'm a buff whore. And now just bear in mind, I'm every day you're gonna have to find someone to have a sippy from. Wait, can I just starve myself? Yes, but you'll start taking sun damage. So you unless you want to... And if yeah, you get so high enough in... Your enemy. Yeah, the sun is a deadly laser. If you get high enough in vampirism, people will not want to talk to you. If I recall okay, correctly. You're, you're a creepy weirdo. I don't want to be around you. So, I was under the impression that... You know... I didn't have to feed. You don't. In fact, starving myself would help. Uh, but he's, he's saying, if you wait outside, you're probably if you get wait outside for 24 hours, you're probably gonna die from the sun. Funnily enough, the bounty for feeding on someone is 40 gold. Cruel son, vanquish me! It's still 25, the sun won't hurt you. Fuck, it's overcast. No, it'll work even in overcast, it's just being outside. Though it is pretty easy for you to get fed because the Dark Brotherhood don't care if you feed on your member on the other members, it won't violate any of the tendons. Don't you just love being in a fun don't you just love being a loop living loophole? Don't you just love being in a murder cult where they're okay with you being a vampire? You're still at twenty five. Yep. It takes a while to get through the stages, mate. This is you before. This is your brain. This is your brain on drugs. I mean, a part of me will play around with being a vampire later, but, uh, till then. re LIGO, GO! <laughs> Re-melanin. Mel melanin is the one for blackness, right? I believe... I, I, I don't remember. Also, his weapon changed. Quick, Peter, change pigments. <laughs> okay, truthfully, even though those buffs sound cool, I don't know, I think I'll just... I, I think I will just stick with being regular old Mary. Chester it's is better, a believer. Chester I, is part play, of the humanity. Chester is part of the, <laughs> the part of the kingdom of man. He believes in the God Emperor and all his and all his glory. And when you play Skyrim, you could probably play around with being a vampire or a werewolf. Because, like I get again, they only change the color of your eyes. And might I say, with Dawnguard, your eyes actually look pretty fucking cool. 
Because normally your eyes are kind of red. But when Dawn Guard, your eyes are like a glowing orange. It's kind of cool. The only problem. You look is... like you look like you're a member of fucking. M <laughs> you look like you're a fucking member of MCR. It's My more chemical than, romance. It's more... Yes. It, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's more the case though. It missed. You were moving and it missed. Where's my? Oh god damn it! God literally missed you. God left the iron on your face a little too long. <laughs> he literally, you literally, because you were moving. It's like okay, I gotta predict where you're moving. And you stop moving, so it went eh, over your head. God can miss. Yeah. That puts a whole new perspective. What is the reason why we're never millionaires when we pray to God? Is because we keep moving, and it accidentally gets redirected to the God fucking millionaires. To, God, God has to lead a shot. God's a fucking sniper. Wait. Did he, you have all the DLC for this, don't, don't you? Not all the DLC. Okay, so you're not going to get the Crusader armor then. Oblivion. Let me ask you something. Why am I playing this ancient-ass game? Well, one of the people in this call would not stop talking about it. And I was like, you know what? I owe it to you to play it. To that boss room, dog. What? He went. He's talking about the sequence breaking to the final room of the game. No, I'm taking my time. Let me tell you. I'm... I've already done that when I was showing it off to Will. You fucking told them. Yes. About the. Fuck <laughs> you went. From, you went. You went from young Michael Jackson to old Michael Jackson. <laughs> Zero Jackson. Jackson X. Badoom boom boom badoom. Badoom boom boom badoom. Cause this is thriller. Oh my god. I'm dealing with it. I'm dealing with pretty midlife crisis. Did you say preteen midlife crisis? Yes, because that was essentially Michael Jackson. He got famous too fucking quickly. Oh god! Why did my father put me through this? Why did my father beat me constantly? Cause it was funny. <laughs> god damn! Hey, you asked. You didn't ask for a good answer. I hope that got caught on microphone. Did y'all know Michael Jackson's black? No! <laughs> Next you're gonna tell me water is wet! <laughs> hey, did y'all know about the Twin Towers? Hey, y'all ever y'all keep out 9-11? Y'all hear about 11 and 9? Y'all hear about the 7-Eleven? 
Y'all hear about nine to five? Y'all hear about Bad Bath Beyond? <laughs> y'all hear Father of Long? Y'all hear about y'all hear about the white person respawn point, the Cracker Barrel? Ah, yes, the the white person respawn yeah. point. Well, Cracker Barrel's the Firelink Shrine for white people. <laughs> if you die as a white person, you respawn there. Uh, I'm gonna continue this joke off stream because I know we're gonna get edgy. It's we're it's fucking late. It's at that point where we're just doing, where we're saying the most vile shit or just to just keep conversations going. Because it gets to a point where the gameplay is just not cutting it anymore. I have now 1,000 alluring gays. I've never seen items, I've never seen items go above one, like 999. Seeing an item that says 1k next to it is a fucking odd feeling. <laughs> it's, a, it's like witnessing something cursed. Yeah, and I'm about ready to crash the game. Oh god. He's going to lure so many things. You know so what? Do it to the flawless coat. Do it to the, like, the ru like, dupe the ruby up a ton just for shits and giggles. The ruby? Yes. Okay. Observe. Everything in everything in Cyrodiil is gonna wanna fuck you. Everything. <laughs> Observe as I reach into the weave. And Shia Kazim. Shia Kazim. Wait more. It's like a. Oh God. It's, it's like a faucet. Just. This is not good, this is not good, this is not good. Well, this I'm house is- I'm digging in! This house is burning down, it's time to leave. Just never come back here ever <coughs> This is going to- No, don't walk into it! Each one of those things has physics! You know what? Hold on. Do you? How much magicka do you have? <coughs> Open your inventory. How much magicka do you have? Three hundred. Okay, go to your spells. I swear to God, if you tell him to fireball that entire thing. No, hold on. I need. I, I, I'm looking. What's lightning ball do? Good enough. Wait, no, it doesn't, it doesn't have yeah. enough magicka to use it. What? I'm off by one fucking point. Damn it. <sighs> Cast at the pile. Snowball. The pile of lava in the room. Look, mate, you're gonna have better luck just looking down and walking towards it to lock to get like look at it. You see, cold doesn't really work very well for that. Do you have a potion of fortify magic? I believe I do somewhere. Obtain it. That's your store. Yeah, like just a regular ass fireball. I have flare. That doesn't work. What I want him to do, he needs an area of effect spell. It should be like insight or something. There it is. Fort of strong potion of magicka. This is for a worthy cause. Drink a portion of sorcery first. Sorcery. Drink it, then drink the strong potion of magicka. Alright. Now equip. With how much magicka do we have? 
354. Okay, let's look at our spells again. Destruction. Uh, not that one. Let's scroll up a little bit. See what our other options are. We have. Uh. 354. That's not an area effect, though. Uh, lightning ball. You need area of effect with this shit. Then look at the center of the pile, and then cast. Just... Skill oh, levels. Yeah. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Your plan if is ruined. If it's not one hurdle, it's another! <laughs> Maybe if I close my eyes and just imagine myself doing it, it will work. Skill level's too low. Fine, just throw flare at it and see if it does it. See if that's just enough to start a chain reaction. Wamp, wamp. I am angry. <laughs> <laughs> I am. I am. My jimmies have been ruffled. I my have jimmies are so rough. many strawberries. <laughs> I am having a very bad day. Today. Oh no. I just had an idea. What? Fuck, I know I have it. Created Wisconsin. <laughs> you see, Wisconsin. You see, Wisconsin. Brutal because of the crystal meth. Wisconsin. At this time of year, at this time of place, localized entirely within your waterfront property. Hell yeah. Can I see it? <laughs> no. There's so much brie. <laughs> this can't brie. I can't do this of my pro alone. Oh my god, it's literally single digit now. Yeah, it's almost like you're spawning a thousand things of cheese. It gets worse the bigger the object. You got an object bigger than cheese? What is all this? Cheese. This, this is no, cheese. No, not that. No, not that. I'm in a room and there's a there is a a bartender's guide poster. I just wanted my cheese! Okay, hold on. There might be I, one more, but I'm thinking, like, what the fuck can I do? Stupid thought. Do it to the scales. Do it to the scales. Oh. I what wanna, happened? I want to test something. You want to see if the thing you get from the scales is multiplied?
No, it only seems to be one. But what if... I were to try it with over a thousand. Nope. So let's try to dupe the scales. I I've tried it. Only you drop it. Nope, I only dropped one. Instead of random ass thought before we end it. randomly there's like over a fucking thousand rubies in the sea and nobody knows why that fisherman's really certainly lucky this year oh my god There they go. They look like sakura blossoms. It's so beautiful. Beautiful ass. I've seen things when you leave. ships on fire on the shoulder of Orion. I watched sea beams glitter in the dark at Ten House Gate. walk into a tavern. Ale's on me! What the fuck? <coughs> Hell, I'll buy your bar. Let's see, what, uh, what else do I have? He is flawed. I did have a question though, Matt. Still there, homie? Hmm? A potion of restore or something. It works if it's damaged, but here's the thing. The scales are constant. Okay. They're not damaging you. They're just retracting to and adding two to other stats. I know. I, I sort of was bringing it up because I was wondering if there was a way to sort of 
fudge nope, you can't, scaling. You, 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 you can't juke the scales. What I mean is not the scale scales, itself, that. but, you know, stats. Okay, there... Okay, I'm sorry that I am prolonging this. There's one last thing I want to check in the arena district. Oh, you want to try to do a fight? No, I, I want to check and see about that chest. Damn it, it's no longer there. Hi, how you doing? Oops. Okay. Well, no fucking around. Yeah. Get some sleep. I'll see you probably Friday. Later. Later, bro. Alright. I think I fucked around enough, so I'm going to call it a session. I will repeat. I'm having a, having a good time with this. I'm not fully invested with, you know, the world, but I'm just sort of going through the motions and exploring it, and I am enjoying the quests that you, uh, you're having me do. I won't lie though. Um, what the hell is the one? The one where we're tracking down the fucking dude who was claiming to be the vampire killer. That was a good one. But the painting one was also good. I like that one. Yeah, just in case I'm not picking these quests because they're like good from like like very standpoint. It's like the case of interest in design or the concept. Like, I like how it was handled, and it really, I wouldn't have thought that. I personally was leaning on the dude who was leaning on the sauce, because I saw alcohol on the table, but then, you know, it was like, wait. But yes, I very much enjoy this, and I can't wait. <laughs> Stop dying at me. No. I can't wait to do more. Alrighty. But unfortunately, the stream has to end, so I want to say thank you all for tuning in. Y'all stay safe, stay beautiful, and I'll see you next time.